Well, Derek, a 4-1 home defeat tonight, a rare home defeat against Charlton Athletic. Just your thoughts overall? Yeah, I thought that uh, Charlton started very well tonight. Um, they looked like a, a really good League One side, established League One side. They passed the ball well, um, they pressed well, and uh, they scored early goals in the game. Uh, the physical presence uh, throughout the team uh, showed tonight. I thought technically... Uh, they were excellent, uh, the way that they, they passed and moved and the speed they had. And uh, in that first you know, half, they, they obviously were better than us and uh, went into half-time you know, with three goals. And I think that testament to the players uh, in the second half and even in the first half, you know, we, we kept on going. We created a, a few openings. I thought we could have done better at times you know, in and around that 18-yard uh, box. But uh, tonight... Uh, you know they were the better team, and they're always going to be. It's Charlton Athletic you're playing against a, a very accomplished uh, League One side. Dean Holden, their manager, just came out and said that was the best performance he's seen since he came in in charge. And I suppose you would agree with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, part of that problem was our fault as well um, because um, we didn't win uh, our duels tonight. Um, physically, uh, they were better than us, uh, and. I think that you know we could have done a lot better uh, at times tonight, even when uh, we had opportunities or um, we gave away possession of the ball at times, allowing them uh, to get to, on top of us. Don't want to drag this out, but do you think you could have had a penalty just before they scored? Farron Rawson being brought down? Yeah, I mean, we, we could have. Um, but as I say, we, we haven't had one all season. and uh, But in the night, you know, they passed the ball really well I thought that you've got a lot of good players we know that they're an outstanding team in this division You gave Umani a start and he played a real part in the goal didn't he for Donald Love Yeah and I thought he did well tonight um, his link up play was good his work rate was was excellent and he was unfortunate himself not to, to get a goal but uh, you know in the end um, he's got 90 minutes and uh, it was good for him There were a few boos tonight first time we've probably heard in all season do, do you understand where the fans were tonight? Well, I, th- I think they've seen a very good team, you know, from Charlton, and, and they've got to respect, you know, sometimes the opposition. I understand that, um, you know, at times we haven't uh, done well enough against them tonight. It's difficult for our players, you know, we're coming up against uh, accomplished League One team. And what I will say about our players is they keep on going, they keep on fighting. And there was a number of times, even in that second half, when it went to three-one, we might have been able to get, you know, back to three-two. We talked about it before. It's important that everyone sticks together in a big, big home game on Saturday against Oxford. Now, yeah, I mean, we, we, listen. The only people that can change things is is uh, the playing staff and uh, the, the management and the players. Uh, that's the, the only people that can change it. You know, we're the ones that are on the pitch, uh, able to to change things, and nobody else can do that. Looking ahead to that game, it's a, it's they've got a new manager as well. You know, Liam Manning. It, it's going to be tough. Do you expect a bit more from your players this weekend? I can't ask for any more of them. They're trying their best, you know. They're they're working so hard, but unfortunately, we come up against good teams, and uh, we're in this division because um, we we got here. But unfortunately, there's better teams than us in this division. There's better players than us in this division. We're fighting hard to stay in this division, and that's all we're ever going to be. I've already explained many times the reasons for that, and uh, you know that's something that you have to ask somebody else about, not me. And it's important that we all stick together and fight together this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see, I don't know what the point is because you know, as as a football club, um, as a team and management, we've got ourselves into to, to League One. You, what you've got to understand, nobody else has. The players, the management, uh, the staff have got us into to League One. The, the supporters, um, you know, have enjoyed uh, being in League One and they'll enjoy uh, being in League One next season when when we accomplish our aim. Mas o mamãe